Pastor Rick, Grace Bible Church. Welcome back to another edition of Living by the Book. Uh, this one should be this should this one should be an easy one for you. I think it'll be an easy one for you. Uh, softball, a softball. Yeah, it's, it's a softball. It's you know it's just about a, a a deep issue of the heart. It's you know it's not a big deal. It's, <laughs> it's an easy one. Uh, no, I was thinking about that passage in First John when John says, uh, you know, do not love the do not love the world or the things of the world. Um, and I, you know, I was. It's, well, I'll read. He says, right, First John chapter two, verse fifteen. Do not love the world or the things in the world. If anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. Are you reading from American Standard, though. The American Standard. No, no. That's, oh, no, I'm reading the Bible. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Actually, you know, it's, it's funny. This is this is just extra. Uh, I was reading an article yesterday, I think, and it made it. It, it was taking. Uh, it was. It, he was bringing, the author was bringing up an issue with the uh, NASB, the NASB translation of a passage, and I almost thought about sending it to you just to speak. See, yeah, sometimes be, NASB gets it wrong. That see, would be sometimes the, of the world. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I love sports. Sure, I love candy. Uh, I love long walks on the beach. Uh, not really, actually, short walks probably. Uh, no, there, there's things out there that I love. What does John mean when he says, do not love the things of the world? Because, you know, if we, re- if we read the book of Ecclesiastes, God says, take, you know, delight in your food, in your wine, in, you know, in this, this life that God's given you. So what, what is John speaking against? What, first of all, what are the things of the world? And then how do, we know if, how do I know if I love them in a way that John would say is inappropriate? Does that mean I can't like them all together? What, what, what's, he, what's, he, what's he trying to communicate in this passage? Yeah. Um, the things of the world could be anything. Okay. So it, there's not a list of, okay, these things are of the world. It right. really is, uh, the world there is not defined as um, the globe. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. Although Paul did say in Colossians that we're to set our affections on things above, not things on the earth. Right. So, right. you know, that right. that does throw us a curveball slightly. Right. But it really is not talking about material things. Mm-hmm. Um per se, although he could be talking about material things. Okay. It's talking about the world in that sense is that system that has set itself against God okay. and the holiness of God. Okay. All right. So yeah. um, worldliness is being concerned with or obsessed by or dominated by or loving mm-hmm. the things that are inconsistent with God okay. and eternal uh, consequence or or value, right? Uh, in a way that dissuades you from loving those things, mm-hmm. right? So that could be anything. Right. Okay. All right. Okay. So when I was a teenager, baseball was an idol to me. Mm-hmm. I loved baseball mm-hmm. to the point where I did not love God. I was interested in being able to play baseball on Sundays. Right. Right. I was balking against my parents mm. who were not permitting me to do that because yeah. I needed to be at church. I would yeah. rather play baseball than go and worship Christ. Right. Right. right? So I loved it mm-hmm. in a manner that supplanted or mm-hmm. or buffered out my love for God. Mm-hmm. And therefore baseball was worldly to me. Mm. It was a world it was an ex- exhibition of worldliness. So Something's worldly when, not necessarily because it's, not always because it's inherently uh, set up against God, but if it becomes set up against God in your heart. Right? Yeah. Because baseball could could also be exactly. a really... I enjoy baseball now. Right. But if I had a choice between going to church and going right. to a baseball game, right. I would clearly right. go to church. Right. Not just because I can't play it well, <laughs> but... I don't have an arm. I'll pull a hamstring, run into the bases, uh, but uh, not because of that. But right. because God has settled in so mm-hmm. marvelously mm-hmm. and welcomely, right. with with welcome. Okay, yeah. uh, in like my that. heart, I like that. I like right? That um, yeah. I, yeah, I am letting the the Lord dwell yeah. in my heart yeah. with hospitality. Yeah. Okay. So there's. Um, 
And and so I'll sit down and watch a baseball game. Mm -hmm. uh, usually not in the regular season. Mm -hmm. Usually it's in the playoffs. Right. You wait, you wait for October. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but it it's not it, it's not in any way buffering out mm -hmm. God and my commitment right. to God, my love right. for God, and my devotion and right. so on. Right. And that's what uh, John is talking about here. That. Um, there are things in the world um, that that are inherently evil. Right. Right. For Adultery. Sure. Yeah, for sure. You know, um, women, riches that, you know, that, um, Maybe you know, become women or like the mis the mis the abuse of women or the. The objectification of women. Yes, right. yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah. I mean, if I'm just have eyes right. full of adultery, right. that's and any woman that is there yeah. becomes right. an object that right. I see as someone with whom I'm able to gratify myself, right. even if it's only in my mind. Right. Right. That, that's right. worldliness. Right. That's clearly yeah. worldliness. Yeah. Um, Identifying with the world, I, I think that mm -hmm. you know the way some you know you look at some kids and the way they dress. Mm -hmm. There's some pop star, rock star, mm -hmm. rapper, or whatever right. it is that they idolize, right. and so they try to emulate that person, right. Right. showing you their worship. Mm -hmm. In other words, yeah, they're good. they're they're displaying a worship of that person. Right. And you know the the godly woman mm -hmm. that's in the church who's modest and and. Um, right you know, unassuming. Right. They're not looking at that person and say, there's a good role model for me. Right. They're talking about mm -hmm. this wicked person right. who is spewing trash. Right. And they're somehow wanting to be like them. Right. Or look like them. Right. Um, that's worldliness. Yeah. For right. Sure. Um, uh, there's, there's, it, it could be anything mm -hmm. really. Yeah. Um, but it, it really becomes something that, is is uh, part of what sets itself or causes you to set yourself mm -hmm. against God. Mm -hmm. Okay. There's that passage um, in Second Timothy, right? Uh, um, in chapter four, I, I believe, Second Timothy four, where it talks about. Yeah, make every effort, in verse 9, make every effort to come to me soon. For Demas, mm -hmm. having loved this present world, mm -hmm. has deserted me and gone to Thessalonica. Mm -hmm. um, Crescens has gone to Galatia and Titus to Dalmatia. Uh, only Luke is with me. So come, he's saying to Timothy, come, because De Demas has left. Mm -hmm. He loved this present world. Yeah. That That's the idea, yeah. that there's something mm -hmm. that causes you to not be willing to Honor and give God his place. That's where he says, do not love this world. That right. is, set your affections on this world right. and live for them. Right. Right? Mm. Because essentially love is 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 placing uh, something before yourself mm -hmm. and, and, and basically giving yourself to that thing. Mm. That's what love is. If right. you get married, you place your wife as right. before yourself. Right. You give yourself to her, to meeting her need, to fulfilling her desires, and so on. If you love the world, you put the world before yourself, mm -hmm. certainly before God, yeah. and you you live in such a way as uh, to serve it, yeah. to give yourself to it, mm -hmm. right? And so if you're doing that, things of this world, mm -hmm. then the love of the Father is not in you. Right. Um, because you you cannot serve, Jesus said, you cannot serve two masters. Mm -hmm. You'll love the one right. and despise the other, right? Um, he, he talks about in that passage on the uh, Sermon on the Mount. And there's, there's the need for us to recognize that for God, he must be that or whom we love. Mm -hmm. We love him. Right. A thing that would creep up as a rival, right? It is worldly. Mm -hmm. Anything, yeah. A car, right? Right. That a, a car, a uh, house, a job, yeah. Spouse, uh, spouse, yeah. Anything, absolutely. Yeah. It becomes it's it's akin to idolatry, mm -hmm. right? Okay. okay. Yeah. And and that where the things of this world. And that's why Paul says in Colossians three. You know, set your affections on things above, not on things of this earth. Mm -hmm. 
right? Mm -hmm. um, so that's the the responsibility mm -hmm. that we have as believers right. to make sure that our love for God is governing mm -hmm. everything right. and all other loves. Right. You know, um, when my wife makes on those super rare occasions mm -hmm. when she'll make a peach pie or a <laughs> peanut butter pie or some cake that's just phenomenal. Right. I'll say right. her, I love this. Right. This is really good. I love this. Yeah. I'm not saying I don't love God at that point. Right. 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 Because I'm not serving this. I'm not, right. you know, giving right. my life for it. It's not a right. reordering my priorities. It's right. not. Right. It's not. You're not. You're not. I'm not going to stay home from Sunday. To peanut butter pie. Uh, no. Yeah, right. No. For sure. I'm not going to stay home on Sunday. Yeah. Because I want to have that pie instead yeah. of going to church. Right. I mean, right. that kind of thing. You'll wait till after church. Yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> if if there's any left. <laughs> okay. No, that's helpful. And it's interesting, you know, that John finishes First John with that statement. You know, uh, you know, my little children uh, keep away from idols. Yeah. And it, you you mentioned it. It's it's akin to idolatry. And, right. I mean, in many ways, it shares a lot of it's like those fears of uh, of meaning overlap a lot. Yeah. And I think verse nineteen there. Now that you mention it. Um, hmm. We know that we are a God, we are of God, and the whole world hmm. lies in the power of the evil. Yeah, yeah. So worldliness is that system right. under the power of the enemy right. in opposition to God. Right. But we are of God. Yeah. So we can't take that which is in opposition right. to God and embrace it, love right. it. Right. And you're talking about philosophies. Yeah. You're talking about uh, priorities. Right. You're talking about things more than just what is material. Right. You know, Absolutely. We've yeah, been belief, talking kind beliefs of, as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We've mm -hmm. been talking kind of about material things, right. but I don't want to limit it to right. material things right. because it's more of a mindset. Yeah. It's an orientation of that. More, yeah, right. that causes objects mm -hmm. to have priority over God. Right. right. People to have priority over God. Thoughts to have priority over mm -hmm. Scripture. Mm-hmm. Right, so that we can take tradition or my own thoughts right. or thoughts right. of agnostics or profane yeah. philosophers yeah. and give them more credibility than mm -hmm. God's word. Right. That's loving the world. Yeah, for sure. Right. Just mm -hmm. the way you think. And of course right. that's going to translate in into how you right. conduct yourself. Right. It'll it'll yeah. translate into the material things right. eventually. Yeah. 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 That's good. Okay. No, that's really helpful. Um yeah, you know, I'm just thinking about I was I was thinking about that passage and uh, it's just a good reminder that we have to be so careful because even good things, even things that are good and are from God and are of mm -hmm. God, mm -hmm. we can turn them into idols in our own hearts. So it's just a reminder that uh, I think as Calvin said, our hearts are idol factories and we always have to be careful. So, well, Pastor Rick, I appreciate that. You know, any final word for us? Any final thoughts? Um, there, there was one um, thought in James 4. Um you know, the, the corollary to this is, you adulteresses, do you not know that friendship with the world mm -hmm. is hostility to God? Therefore, whoever wishes mm -hmm. to be a friend of the world makes himself yeah. an enemy of God. Now, yeah. the adulteresses, I don't know that that is specifically talking about sexual adultery. Right. As it could also imply spiritual adultery yeah. and making things idols. Right. Well, it seems like it's probably, you know... Echoing language that was applied to Israel in the right. Testament. Yeah. Right? You adulterous nation. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, that's the idea. And hmm. and the, the 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 desire to align oneself, which is friendship with the world, mm -hmm. align oneself with the priorities, beliefs, uh, practices right. of the world, those right. that set against God. Right. If you try to blend in with that, yeah. you're making yourself an enemy of yeah. God. Yeah. So the love of the Father is not in you. Yep. Yeah. So anyway, that's yeah. that's just one other we yeah. could wax eloquent on that yeah, for a while. For sure. but. Well, and it's you know just such a good reminder we we must we, we must be in this world without being of this world, right? Yeah. Um, because we, because like John said, we are of God. So, yeah. Pastor Rick, thank you again for serving us. Sure. Grateful for your ministry in church. We hope that this video has helped you as you're thinking through uh, the things that you love in your life and the way you spend your time and and who or what is it that holds that preeminent position in your heart and. Our prayer is that it is always the Lord Jesus. And if it's not, uh, then may today be the day that that changes. And all things are placed in subjection unto him Amen. in your own heart. Amen. Church, we love you. We'll see you next time next week on another edition of Living by the Book. Take care.